of time. And so if it's building Shin Beers, you can't build Zion Beers, which I need in order to build resource processors. But I need Shin Beers to detect because he keeps sending ATHCs in me. So I'm just gonna send you know, expand on this on the right side since I expanded on the left side last time. If he's been paying attention, he'll think I was expanding on the left side. Yes, I have no chrono energy. Why am I not no chrono energy? This takes forever to get anything done. Finally, I'm gonna ask for chrono energy. But this is gonna be very annoying because I am not having any time getting anywhere around with my units, and it looks like these mechs are gonna be making short work of these, especially Petters are gonna be able to deal a fair amount of damage, but the mechs are good against air. So I'm just gonna continue harassing, and at this point, my design pulses are actually really showing their worth. And why are you here? No, go back, go away, run, run! Oh, for goodness sake, stupid units. Piece of shit, you deserve to die. Anyway. Another ATHC has come in here, and I really am getting quite pissed off by this because I have no way. Like, Shin Veers are not all that mobile. I really don't have a lot in the way of mobile detectors at this point. I think Shin Halkins are also detectors. Oh, never mind. Shin Turchers are detectors. So I'll get one of those. Because this is getting very annoying not having the ability to really take care of detectors. Why oh, you move forward? I why your energy is getting my nerves. Okay, now the sand pulse will not be able to. That will not be able to win. I should hopefully be able to get some more resources, though. I need to. For goodness sakes, do something! energy is impossible. Like, I'm having a really hard time controlling anything because I have no chrono energy and I've got to make sure that I'm not getting attacked too hard because otherwise it's impossible for me to deal with anything going on. I'm having a really hard time dealing with this stuff. And why is this? No! This, set the rally point back home. Quit trying to set it up forward. Oh my goodness, these guys are morons. Okay, anyway. At this point, hopefully I should be able to get some attacks in. He does have ATHCs up, but I don't know. I imagine he's building some more powerful units further in. I'm just actually kind of frightening because I know that I really don't have much to deal with at this point. I'm going to try to tech up a bit, but I don't know how much that'll help. Really, at this point, it's a matter of trying to make sure that I have the resources necessary to actually fight off the units he has. And he's going pretty heavily for anti-air. And I... Come on, get back! What are you doing here? Go away! No, do not fight them! You will die! Oh, for goodness sakes, piece of shit, unit. Anyway. <sighs> Sometimes units are really annoying to control in this game because you have no chrono energy and they want to go kill stuff. And, I mean, I can't really fault them for wanting to go kill stuff. The problem is that they're trying to kill stuff that they can't kill. And this, as it stands, I really am not a huge fan. I'm not, I'm in a disadvantageous, disadvantageous position at this point. I'm trying to fend off, but I really don't have much of a chance. Although I am further back in time, so it doesn't mean that I have. I can move a bit more forward and start to get my chrono energy back or require less chrono energy to deal damage, but this one I'm not sure that's going to work. I'm locked out of my base in one end, and the other end I have a small expansion on, but really not as much as I need. I need to get more units, up, more resources up. And thankfully at this point, I, do, I did invest a fair bit in anti air when I had a chance, so at the very least, getting rid of these frigates is not particularly difficult. So, I'm just going to try to go for further assault, and it looks like, oh man, yeah, he has done it. He's proxied my base, so I'm now, now I've got to try to deal with all this crap with proxy right at my base. Oh, sick. No, not there! No, Shin Alkyon, you will go and attack this base that is being a real pain in the ass. So he has now proxied me, and my main attack is coming through and dealing a fair amount of damage, but proxy, I've got to make sure to get around this, because... At this point, I really don't have a huge chance to get out of this alive, unless I can go... Oh, I actually do have the energy to build more units, so I need to be able to build enough units to actually get out of this. I'm not sure what I can do, because at this point, there's a lot of units coming in this. I mean, the turret shouldn't be too hard to get rid of, but... The fact that he has proxy me means that he does have... He does have probably the whole left side of the map, so I have to deal with that as well, and my entire attack in his main base is collapsed, so I'm going to retreat from there. And like I said, I really do not, I'm not getting the resources and units needed to get the steamroll that I want, because at this point, I am just trying to hold, I'm just trying to hold them off. I really do not have what I need to, actually, protect my resource processors more than anything. And now he's building a turret next to my resource processors to actually kill them off, which is just great. 
And I can't really teleport them away either because I don't have the chrono energy to do so. Okay, well, at any rate, I can get some. At least get some of them down here. Protect some of them from the. Oh, what? Okay, whatever. Anyway, get some of them away from there before the turret, as the turret is getting attacked. And from here, I should be able to get around. It looks like, oh, great, he's gone back time again to try to attack me even further. Okay, so his armory is almost gone, however, so I will, once that's done, so now I just gotta take care of the left side of the map, because I I am almost certain that he's built some units on the left side of the map, and that he's gonna be able to just take that and use that as a very powerful staging point. Because as of now, I'm running low on resources. I don't really have any resources, honestly. I've gotta teleport these guys out of here to take back the resources that I can get. I need more chrono energy than I have, so hopefully they'll be able to get around there and actually deal some necessary damage, but I don't know. I'm going to have to just double check, sweep both sides of the map to make sure that he doesn't have anything. He's not hiding anything from me, and hopefully hopefully he was overextending himself when he did that, but I don't know. He seemed to be at a fairly good research advantage when he was starting, so at this point, really, it's just a matter of trying to make sure that my research officers are getting in a good position. Because at this point, I am not in a good position to begin with, and... Yeah, okay, so my sweep is coming in, but you know, he is behind me in time. Yes, he got some Mar tanks in, although Mar tanks are pretty useless against this, but uh, their Mar tanks are pretty much useless against air, so it's not a big deal. And I do have Shin Churchers, so I do have detectors, so even if he goes for ATHC, it's not going to be that hard for me to get around it. And my right side sweep is coming in, dealing a fair amount of damage. Just gotta re reinforce, gotta reinforce the right side sweep because that is more units. Or that is more units being fought, where the left side sweep is all buildings. And the design falls for the left side sweep. So at this point, this is where the steam roll is coming in. Just trying to take care of what I can, but it looks like... Really, really putting up a pretty valiant fight. I'm not sure he's going to try to chrono port in the past or what. At this point, I'm really just trying to focus on getting what units I can out. And hopefully from there I'll be able to completely steamroll him. But it's hard to tell. He does have, he clearly has resources necessary to deal some damage, but he actually didn't take the left side of the map as I had predicted. So I am in a bit more advantageous position than I originally anticipated, which is good, but still a bit worrisome since I'm not sure how this is going to work with the main base, whether or not he has, because he may, I'm going to just double check, make sure that he has, as I sweep the left side of the map, make sure that he hasn't gone into anything tricky. And also, you know what? The center of the map would actually be another good place for him to set up shops. So I'm gonna just check that to make sure he hasn't done anything tricky. Because he Shaka is good at doing stuff tricky. And if he does anything tricky, I'm gonna have a hard time dealing with it. And it looks like he may have done something tricky in the future, but it's hard to tell. Actually, it looks like I know okay, so I am actually able to get a fair amount of damage in, so it shouldn't be as big of a deal. I'm just gonna double check, make sure that I have still have resources. I need to make sure that I have the resources necessary, get my research officers moving around, make sure that they are, because I do not have enough Q plasma at this point, I am running very low on it, and I'm just going to make sure that I have what I need. Because at this point, I'm not sure how he's attacking me, but I need to make sure that I still have, have the QP that I need in order to get what I need to keep myself going in this fight. Because I'm getting the last last leg of the scene while I should be able to hold, hold through, but it's hard to tell because he like I said before, he has done some tricky things, and I don't know if he's trying to do something in the future where he attacks me, or what. And it looks like another undetectable enemy attack is coming up. But I do have Shin Pulsar, so I just gotta figure out where that... I'm gonna send that over to the other side, to the left or the right flank of the attack, to make sure that there's nothing coming in there. It doesn't look like he's attacking my base of the ATHC, it just looks like he's going for more of a back attack. So, I'm just gonna make take the right side of the map here, or the left side of the map, sorry. The left side of the map here, get another research processor to Q plasma just so I can get what I need to stay alive and also just make sure that I have what I need to steamroll. And I think I think I steamrolled. Yes, I have steamrolled. Okay, good game. And Shalka has surrendered. So I hope you enjoy that and have a good night.